Amit was scratched by a pup while playing in front of his house. Afraid of injections, he did not tell anyone. He died within two weeks of being scratched. Nuribai was bitten by a jackal from the nearby forest. She immediately began a 10-day course of active rabies vaccine. However, she died within two weeks of the jackal bite. Rabies is a viral disease known to doctors for centuries. It is caused by Lisa virus type 1. Rabies is 100% fatal. It must be treated immediately. Once the symptoms manifest themselves, there is no cure for it. On the other hand, if a person is vaccinated immediately against the disease, the effect of the virus can be 100% nullified. Rabies can affect all mammals. It can be contracted through the bite or lick of any rabid animal like dogs, cats, rats, cows, moles, goats, mongoose, monkeys, horses, camels, etc. Bats can also cause rabies. However, in India, and in most Asian countries, it spreads mainly through dog bites since man is in closer contact with dogs than with any other animal. Rabbit animals are infected with the virus during fights or through association with each other. People generally recognize rabbit dogs as mad dogs. The virus is present in the saliva of the infected animal. When a rabid animal bites someone, or if it licks an open wound or scratch on the body, the virus in the saliva enters the person's bloodstream. It then spreads through the body gradually and attacks the brain and nerves directly. Once the virus enters the body, the time taken for the manifestation of the disease depends on a number of factors the site of the bite or scratch, the number of wounds, amount of virus injected, species of biting animal, protection provided by clothing, and the treatment taken. In general, the incubation period is shorter in severe exposures. In bites or scratches on the face, head, neck, and upper limbs, due to their proximity to the brain or if bitten by wild or stray animals. The incubation period is also short when the amount of virus present in the animal's saliva is more. On an average, the incubation period varies from a few days to a number of years. Symptoms of rabies in a patient who has been bitten by a dog, they may start from any time after five days of dog bite to few years time. Now this variable symptom period or variable incubation period depends on number of factors and one of the most important factor is the infection of the virus with the load. If virus load is too much, infection develops very fast. When any person starts developing rabies after dog bite or after animal bite, he has symptoms which can be just like any other viral fever. That means there can be fever, congestion or redness of eyes, body ache, muscle pain and upper respiratory infection or sore throat. In one or two days time, these symptoms they pass into one of the most feared symptoms in the history of medicine that is called fear in drinking water or hydrophobia. This hydrophobia is due to contraction of muscles of esophagus or upper uh, respiratory upper gastrointestinal tract due to excitement. Now this excitement keeps on increasing and with increasing passage of time the patient is feared or fearing even with blowing air, even the bright light cannot be tolerated this is called photophobia. 
This hydrophobia and photophobia stage with excitement continues for 2-3 days, after which patients develop paralysis. This is called rabies encephalitis. With this paralysis, muscles are weak and the muscle of respiration are also weak. When diaphragm gets paralyzed, this leads to total cessation or total stoppage of respiration and leads to death. All these symptoms may develop in 3 to 5 days time. During these symptoms, patient can be very excited, he is agitated. This is called furious rabies. In another type of rabies, we find that patients do not go into the state of excitement and they land up to the stage of paralysis directly. There is history of dog bite, patients are paralyzed, their all muscles are getting weak over 3 to 5 days time and when respiration gets compromised, when respiratory muscle diaphragm is paralyzed, this leads to death. This type of rabies is called dumb rabies. An animal bite or scratch should be attended to immediately. Wash the wound or scratch with plenty of water and a good soap. Apply an antiseptic, tincture iodine, carbolic acid or even alcohol. Do not rub or apply things like turmeric powder, balms, tuna, herbs, chilies, etc. as they may further aggravate the wound. Do not cauterize or burn the wound. Do not suture the wound. Do not rely on charms. Antibiotics and tetanus injections should also be taken. Then, anti-rabies injections should be administered on medical advice. When visiting the doctor, remember to give detailed information about what type of animal was involved, a domestic pet, a stray or a wild animal. Was the animal healthy or sick? If it was sick, what were the symptoms? In case of a pet animal, whether the animal has been immunized against rabies and the date of the latest immunization shot. Was the attack provoked, that is, whether the patient was teasing or playing with the animal at the time of the attack. The type of exposure, that is, a deep or superficial bite a scratch or a lick on an open wound. On what part of the body did the exposure occur? The face, the hands, the legs? Was it a single one or were there multiple exposures? When we talk of management of rabies, frankly speaking, there is nothing much to manage when a patient develops full-blown rabies because this fatal virus is 100% fatal. When a patient develops rabies, what we try to do is to keep these patients admitted in our wards and give them sedatives to keep them calm and quiet and wait for the death of the patient. But a very bright side of management of rabies is that after a dog bite, this is one disease which can almost 100% be prevented. The first and foremost management of rabies is starting with management of wound. The wound of animal must be washed thoroughly with any available common soap and running water. This soap and running water is able to take care of a large amount of virus which is present on the surface of the wound. And after this, if the bite is suspected to be due to rabid animal, the person must go and attend some clinic where active as well as passive immunization must be given. Now, at this point of time, we must understand that active and passive immunization both are important and both should be started simultaneously. By active immunization, we mean that the patient's own body is going to develop antibodies which will take care of virus in the body. Now, this occurs after 2 to 3 weeks time. For this prevention of rabies during 2 to 3 weeks time, what a person needs is passive immunization. In passive immunization, ready-made antibodies are provided from outside. Now, these antibodies when given in the injected form take care of rabies virus for 2 to 3 weeks after which the antibodies produced from the patient's own body take over and this prevention may be there for 2 to 5 years time. 
Now, for passive immunization, immunoglobulins are available. Now, these immunoglobulins are from two sources from horse source, this is also called equine source, or from human, human source. Half dose of immunoglobulins is injected locally into the wound where the bite has occurred, and half of this dose is injected into the muscles. For active immunization, 5 to 6 injections are given, which are given from the time of dog bite or animal bite which has occurred, then on 3rd day, 7th day, 14th day, 28th day and 90th day. During this period, the immunity develops and then only we can take care of the virus in the body. For active immunization, commonly available equine source or horse source vaccine is also there. Now, this vaccine is to be injected subcutaneously over the abdominal wall. Over the abdomen, depending on the severity of bite, 10 to 14 injections are given. The amount of vaccine also varies depending on the severity of bite, which can be from 2 to 5 ml. These injections are given every day for 10 to 14 days continuously, and then they provide active immunity. Abstain from alcohol during and a month after completion of treatment. Alcohol may cause paralysis or increase infection. Do not use corticosteroids and other medication that suppress the immune system. Avoid undue physical and mental strain and late nights. Rabies may develop if the patient is inadequately immunized. Therefore, take the entire course of immunization. There are two forms of rabies found in animals. First is furious form and the other is dumb form. In furious form, animal is very much sensitive. It bites unprovoked. It bites unseen objects. A lot of salivation is there and then over sensitivity and then, uh, then paralysis and then death. It is also known as hydrophobia. The term is coined because of hydro means water and phobia means fear. And in this particular disease, the animal is unable to swallow the liquids because of the paralysis of the glands. And that is why the term hydrophobia is given for this particular disease. In the dumb form, animal will sit in a quiet corner in the house. It will be very much sensitive and then very much nervous and then paralysis and then ultimately death. This disease can be avoided by regular vaccination of the dogs or the animals. The first vaccination is done at three months of age and then after when the animal is able to maintain the antibodies that is when the animal is mature enough like in dogs after four months and then after this after every year vaccination has to be done, this is the booster vaccination. And if the animal is being bitten by a rabid animal, then post bite vaccina vaccines are also available. And in these vaccines, different vaccines are available and depending upon the type of the vaccine, uh, doses are different and the durations are also different. The best form of protection is taking precautions to minimize chances of exposing yourself and your pets to rabies. Do not allow your pets to run loose. Protect them from stray or wild animals. Don't feed your pets outside. If you do feed pets outside, remove any uneaten food at once so that stray animals are not attracted to it. If your pet has been bitten or attacked by a stray or wild animal or has bites or scratches of unknown origin, contact a veterinarian immediately. Report any stray animals in your locality to the municipal corporation so that they can be removed from there. Teach your children not to approach or play with or provoke stray or wild animals. Teach them that in case they are attacked, they should inform you immediately. The simplest way of protecting yourself against rabies 
is by taking necessary precautions and first aid measures or primary treatment as soon as possible. In secondary treatment, remember that both passive and active treatment are equally important.